Hi everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. I've been asked on a few occasions why it is that I focus more on criticizing the left than I do the right. And the answer is very simple. I do so because I exist in the academic ecosystem where much of the uh, injury to reason has come from the left uh, to the extent that many academics and especially so in the social sciences and the humanities, tend to be on the left, then they are the ones who have been the promulgators of anti-science, anti-reason, anti-logic um, uh, frameworks. Postmodernism, radical feminism, intersectionality, identity politics, cultural and moral relativism. These don't come from people on the right, they come typically from academics who are on the left. And so to the extent that I see a daily assault on truth uh, in my day-to-day -day life, uh, the enemies of reasons that I've identified tend to come from the left. And so it's not as though I am giving a free pass to the folks on the right, nor does it mean that I am by proxy implicitly on the right because I don't spend as much time criticizing them it's uh, the mechanism is similar to you going to see a pulmonologist because uh, you have asthma and then your first reflex when you walk into that physician's office is to say but bruh what about diabetes how come I never see you focusing on diabetes well because he focuses on respiratory ailments that doesn't mean that diabetes is not important but it means that that's what he focuses on. So the fact that I focus on the left's frontal, never-ending assault on human dignity and human reason doesn't mean that the right is not guilty of its own abuses uh, against reason. So take, for example, the case of science denialism. Uh, we often think of the right as being the ones who engage in science denialism. So, for example, when it comes to climate change or when it comes to evolution, then the ones who are likely to uh, be detractors of these ideas are likely to come from the political right. On the other hand, when it comes to a rejection of human nature, when it comes to biophobia, when it comes to the rejection of evolutionary psychology as relevant in explaining <clears throat> excuse me, the evolution of the human mind, uh, this is almost exclusively denialism from the left. So again, as somebody who study, studies evolutionary psychology and its import in understanding the human condition, then I'm not going to go after someone who denies climate change because that's not what my daily reality is. And so in the same way that the pulmonologist focuses on asthma and not on diabetes, I focus on the current greatest threat uh, in academia, and that's overwhelmingly coming from the left. So there you have it. By the way, I was asked uh, recently uh, when I gave a lecture on ostrich parasitic syndrome uh, in the Q&A period, someone asked me, oh, are you saying that uh, OPS sufferers are uh, only likely to be coming from the left? And again, I give the exact same answer. No, uh, many people can be affected by OPS because OPS is a general condition whereby you reject reality and instead engage in all sorts of... Uh, mental cognitive processes to support whichever whichever tribal position uh, you belong to. So of course, OPS is something that uh, can parasitize people on the left or the right. But again, in most of the reality that I see, in most of the injuries to truth that I see, the OPS sufferers tend to be on the left. Again, postmodernism, radical feminism, cultural and moral relativism, intersectionality, identity politics, and all the other associated nonsense is all coming from the left. So there you have it, folks. Hope you're having a good week. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.